Hello everyone, this is YouTube Media. This video is going to be all about how to make unboxing and review videos as professional as possible. All the steps you can make to maximize the quality of your video. So let's get started. First off is picking a good spot to shoot your video. I recommend to not do this on your carpet or a chair. Make sure your background is clear of objects, not an area where there's lots of stuff in the background. A table like this is perfect. There's plenty of room and the background is clear. But make sure to take off any plastic or glass covers because these cause major glares. Next you need a stable recording. Don't hold the camera in your hand and don't set it on the table or a book. Use an actual tripod. This gives you much more positioning options. Next up is lighting. Lighting is something most people usually don't bother with, but is one of the biggest improvements you can make. Most people use multiple lights from around their house, such as this, but some are brighter than the others, some different colored bulbs, and some cause shadows. So instead, I bought this pair of professional dual studio lights for only 55 bucks. You can get just one light for 30 bucks. Check out the difference. Next would be audio quality. Listen to my camera's mic. The Alex e-reader is a portable e-reader. Now listen to this external mic. Big difference. Unless you have a good mic on your camera, which I do not, you should attach a external microphone such as this blue snowflake microphone to your camera. If you cannot connect one, then do a narration over your video on your editing program. Next up is something that is completely optional and is a bit overkill, but it is something that I do and helps me a lot. A lot of the times in a video you might bring the product out of the camera's view. So what I do is take four small objects and then look at your camera screen and drag those objects to the very edge of each corner of my camera's view. This way you know where the boundaries are in your video. You can also just use some tape, but make sure these objects are not in the camera's view. They're just for your personal use. Last but not least is one of the most important parts, editing. You want to edit out the parts where you make long pauses or mistakes, such as this. It's six, 600 pixels, or no, sorry, it's a, a 700 pixel screen, 700 pixels. So just simply cut it out. And there's also no need to show yourself spending 180 seconds opening a box. You, you can fast forward or cut parts out so you don't lose viewership. Another great way to prevent tons of errors is something I do. Type up a script or an outline of key features of the product. And you can just tape it to your camera's tripod so it's in view. So a quick recap is a proper recording space, use a tripod, professional studio lighting, microphone audio quality, Set your viewing angle, boundaries, and editing. Now one other thing I didn't mention is of course the camera you use. The more expensive, the better. Because then you have a better microphone and you don't have to worry about audio quality and you can have your videos up to full 1080p HD. Now don't worry, of course, I have not perfected all these tips either. For example, I don't have a $800 Sony DSLR camera. And I occasionally have stuff in the background of my videos. Well, there you go. Now the rest is up to you. It sounds like a lot of stuff, and it's understandable if you could not do all of this, but the more of these tips that you can follow, the better. Thank you for watching, and all the links will be in the video description below, including the studio lights that I have bought.